Today we're on hole number five and we're gonna show you how to play this hole from the back tees. We got 197 yards in, got a middle right pin. So I'm thinking uh, for myself, I got a seven iron. Uh, I'm gonna aim it kind of just at the left side of the green, kind of let it leak over to the right. I know the screen slopes a lot left to right. So just kind of let the green naturally feed it in there and hopefully set myself up for a nice birdie. Yeah, definitely this hole guys, when you're playing, Anything on the right side will take most of the big trouble out of play because yep. you can aim left and the green slopes to the right. Yep. So usually you could be more aggressive to those pins than you would to a left pin. Absolutely. So, so we want to give ourselves a chance for birdie, get it on the green. Anywhere on the green, honestly, on this hole is a pretty good shot. Now, speaking about where you want to avoid at all costs mm -hmm. on this green, especially in that pin, yep. is anything long? Anything long, and a bob. yep, exactly. Anything long is no good. So that's why I'm going with a seven iron. This yep. is normally my 185, 190 club. Yep. Uh, so it's just a little bit shorter of uh, what our total distance is, but um, you know, with a little bit of a down slope, um, should get there. Yep. If it's not, it's in the right spot where I want to miss yep. it. All right. Hopefully that catches the hill and it'll save it. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, it was a little tough, but again. Left side well, of the green? Yeah, left side of the green. Should it be okay? All right, we got a putt. Got a putt. So what, what do you have here? I'm going to go with a six iron. Okay. Same strategy. Normally, 185 club. Yep. I know. I play here a lot. I know long is dead. And because I play a little cut, I'm just going to try to try to hit it just nice and straight. Because uh -huh. for me, like if I try to play a cut, it might come a little short. And if it spins, it's not going to yep. release. So I'm just going to try to hit it. A solid shot straight, so hopefully if it lands short, it just kind of carries up. I love it. Right to the wind. Let's see it. Here we go. And I pulled All right, up so in the hill. Similar to being long, tell me about how it is over there. Well, I mean, honestly, if as long as I have a shot, I'd much rather be on that side coming into that flag than to be long. Because knowing being long is just completely dead. I agree. Um, that one has been, right now, my, my miss has kind of been coming a little bit over the top and pulling it. Yep. Um, but yeah, let's see what we got. Let's see it. So at least I found the ball. A um, couple of good things going. I got a pretty good lie. I should be able to spin it. I got a straight look. Um, again, I'm, I'd much rather take this shot than back there. Back there would be absolutely dead. So here, the only thing is I can't hit it too high because there's a branch right above us. Yep. So I can't really flop it. So where are you trying to land this? So what I'm gonna try to do is actually hit kind of like a mid shot with a lot of spin, land it on the top shelf, yep. kind of a little bit left of your ball, and then just let it, just let the green take it. Just praying that it takes it down there. Pray that you get that spin. Pray that it goes down there. All right, let's see it. Or that. Get lucky. Bunker. You're going for the layup. All right. So walk me through this. Are so you trying to hit one? You know, you're at the front of the bunker here. You got plenty of green to work with though. Yep. But everything's running away from you. So you're trying yep. to fly this a little bit further out there or you're trying to hit something closer to kind of where my ball is and let it run out to the hole. It depends, right? Match play, stroke play. Uh, if you're trying to make it, if you're trying to not avoid a big number, I mean, it, it, it kind of depends. But for now, we're playing stroke play. I mean, we're just playing match play, right? So you're pretty comfortable on the green. Most likely you're going to have a birdie of a par. Now I'm sitting two. So I really have to take, an, you know, kind of, play it as aggressive as I can and try to hold it really. I agree. I agree. Pick my spot right now. It's really helpful. I have the, the little shadow of the ball. So I'm literally looking there. Choke down because I want to open it up and get as much spin as I can and hit the sand and make sure we accelerate through it. Pretty good. And get lucky. Oh, oh wow. juiced too up soft. a little too much. Uh, but I'm gonna be going about three, four feet left of his actually. Okay. Gonna try and take it right out here in the high point. The screen, like I said, slopes hard left to right. So anything kind of right here, if I just get it to stop about right here, it's gonna trickle all the way down to the hole. So uh, just basically all pace here. I think uh, I got a pretty good spot for my line. Let's see what we can do. Pure roll, that's definitely have enough. Oh, I like it. Just, oh, just go in for him. Showtime! Oh my gosh. That was close. That was a great putt, dude. That was close. I want to make sure I'm on the high side. We just saw Lion's ball kind of stay on the right side, so we're not going to be afraid to kind of put it nice and high and 
just pray for the best. Oh, did the same thing. I'm share with the wedge for you. Back of the cup par. All right. All right. Hey, what hey. does it feel like win a hole? <laughs> Feels pretty good. All right, all right. Feels One up good. still, great hole. Um, I definitely, you know, not good when the first player puts it on the green. Obviously, you want to put it on the green. Um, but the one thing that I know is when you're really trying to do something, usually that's when you tensing up. Yep. If I had to do it again, I would have to remind myself, relax, take a, take a yeah. relaxed swing. That way you don't create those tugs and those kind of like, you know, Absolutely. I find a lot of amateurs, they'll, uh, you know, they'll get too tense, like you said, over the golf ball. You know, if you get like that in a, in a you know, match play kind of scenario or any tournament scenario, it's a good thing to, you know, back away from the ball real quick, take a deep breath real quick, step into the shot with some confidence. Last thing you want before you hit the ball is confidence and knowing where your ball is going to go. Yeah, and stick to your shot. You know, I think, again, looking back, always important to look back to your mistakes. Don't get overly, like, mad. Take the time to look back. Yep. For me, play my shot. I try to take a, a dead straight line. I know I have to play the miss on the left. So I would just play it more left, uh, a little yeah. bit more. But hey, this is golf. That's what it takes. You got to play some good shots. And sometimes you take the L, but we're right. still one up. Or, hey, we got more golf to go. That's good your call. Monday Mulligan.